Hi. Now, in this particular video, we are going to see how to pass some routing in your React application. When I say routing, that means you will be switching from one component to another in your application. That simply means that I am going to create a single page application in your React. So let's see how to create a very basic single page application using React.js. So the first thing which we will do for creating a single page application in React is to install a package here using the npm and the name of the package will be React Router DOM. So once you will install that, you will be able to begin the coding for creating the single page application. I have already started, but let's just do it for you so that you can see how the installation process will go on. It will just take some seconds to get installed. And once it is done, you are good to begin with the code. So let's come to that. And as of that, you can see that in index.js, you don't have to make much changes. It will be like that because the main things will be done in your app module. So here is your app component inside which I have put placed all the code which will support you for the routing. And the first thing which I have done here is to create this thing all right like from the react router dom i am taking three different things or four different things that is the browser router switch route and link all right so basically these are the different uh, elements which i am getting from the react router dom and for the browser router i am renaming it to router just to make it short and simple so inside this render method of app what i am doing is there is a router all right inside which you will put all those links all those things using which you want to navigate from one page to another similarly after that here is the heading then a couple of uh, links all right that is the home and login so basically in this li you can see inside this there is a link to all right link tab which is from this react router dom it is not a uh, typical anchor tag of HTML rather here I am working with the link so two means the default one is the slash alright so when you will click on the home it will take you to the default page alright and when you will click on this one that is login as a text alright these are the text which you will be getting in the browser so when you will click over them uh, home it will take you to the uh, default page and when you will click on uh, login it will take you to the login page all right now the next thing which comes is when you will make a request for this slash or login which page should help you so for doing that for stating those things here actually we have switch and inside switch we have route element all right so basically when the exact path exact path path means which you are uh, setting here like slash or login when you will make the request for these things so basically home component and login component will come into the picture all right basically this is the name of your component which i have already imported from their respective js file so basically if i'll come to the home.js or login.js you will find a very simple one right there is nothing fancy done out there it is the same way your component used to interact with the view the same things will go here as well means if you want to send the data you can put states you can put props you can do anything which you were doing so far similarly with any of the uh, component all right and these components will come into the picture when these requests will be made so it is as simple as that all right so just three things which you will include first thing is the react router this react router dom will bring four things router switch route and link then you can create as many as components as you want you just need to place a link for them and the switching the routing setting for those components all right so let's see the browser so before coming to the browser let's come back to the command prompt let's say npm start and as soon as this npm start will execute it will show me a browser where i can see all right that's the heading home 
login what is that basically this is this link all right home and login the text all right and when you will click it will set this particular component as the target so by default it is the home because of this one all right because when you will make a default request which component the home component will be shown so obviously nothing is going to change if i'm clicking the home but when i click on login obviously it will show me the login component all right so there is a table which i have designed inside this login component and there is a text home welcome to tutorials point which i have done inside the home component all right so that's what you can see when i click on home these couple of things are there and when i'm clicking on login this table with this login control is there so this is how you can configure your routing in a react application using the app.js and using this react router dom tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning